fellow creatives. Today I'm going to show you how to replace the sky using our Floridian Sky Overlays Volume 1. You can do this with any sky overlay. I'm going to show you how to do it with just your image the way it is and then we'll also do a short little tutorial on how to extend your sky so you have more sky space in your image if you would like that in your image. So let's get started. Navigate to the file folder that has your sky overlays located. For this particular image, I'm going to use the Floridian Sky Overlay number 6, and I use the drag and drop method. This makes it so much easier for changing out skies. If you put one on there and decide that one's not going to work, you can easily grab another one and put it on your image and work with it. So I'm going to drag and drop number 6 on the image. I am then going to move it up to as close to the horizon line as I can. So this will ensure proper blending. You can resize it however you need to. Once you've placed it where you would like it, right click and press place. Once this is placed, what you'll need to do is add a layer mask to the sky overlay. Once we have our white layer mask, we need to make sure we get the gradient tool. Make sure your colors and your gradients is black to white, so this ensures proper blending. Right around the midsection of the image, click and drag up just about halfway on the sky overlay and you will see it blended back into the background. Now yes we do still have to erase some of the sky off here but it makes it so much easier for you to do. So grab your brush tool, make sure you have a black color selected so it will erase back off and we're going to make sure we're still on this layer mask. Make sure your opacity is at 100 percent for your brush and then just lightly start erasing back the sky. I'm going to lower the opacity of my brush to about 50%. I'm going to start erasing back on the subject here. Now she does have a natural sun behind her. So what I'm going to do is make my brush a little bit bigger. I'm going to drop my opacity down to 30%. I'm going to blend out even a little bit more so it looks more realistic in that sun coming through. And this will ensure that it doesn't create any halos or weird wonky colors that you can clearly tell that you placed a fake sky on your image. You want it to blend in very nicely. I'm going to go back over and make sure I really got those lines off. And that is how we can replace the sky just like that. So we can turn it off and on. That's the before. And here's our sky replacement. You can then go on to edit your image how you would like. Now let's work on extending our sky so we can have more sky in our image, creating a lot more length in here. What we want to do is extend our canvas size of our image. So go to Image and Canvas Size. Now, I only want to extend the top portion of this image so I can get longer sky here. So what I'm going to do is the height, I'm going to raise it up to about 9 inches here. To ensure that the canvas only extends to the top of the sky, here where your anchor points are, slip, click the down arrow so your image will stay at the bottom of your image and when the canvas extends, it will be open up here and where we can add the sky. And then click OK. As you can see here, we've extended the sky a little bit longer. It gives us more room to work with. I'm going to zoom out really quickly, and then I want to open back up my folder, bring my sky overlay back over here. And we're going to do the same process as we just did, but that's how you can easily add your sky in. Now, once you find your horizon point, right-click place. Make sure you add a layer mask. So we do not destructively ruin our sky overlay here and have to redo all of our hard work. We need the gradient tool again. Make sure it's black on white. Now I'm not going to go all the way up since we have white space at the very top. I want this to blend in nicely. So start again with your subjects and just go up just a little bit. And that will blend that in just like it did before. Make sure your brush tool is selected and the foreground color is black. Your mask is selected, and then we can go back and erase over the lines and make the sky blend in beautifully with your image. 
And just like earlier, I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger. I'm going to drop my opacity and really blend around her just slightly to bring in the sky. Make it blend in without looking silly. So there you have it. Your sky is extended. That's how you can easily replace the sky. No need for selecting all these little areas and, and trying to do clipping masks and everything else. It's a very simple thing to do and I hope you enjoy.